But it is opening day at the K and fans not only got a great game today, they also got to see country music's newest star and a local favorite, Tate Stevens. Amy Holly has been at the K all afternoon. She got to catch up with the Belton native before he belted out the national anthem. Amy? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. The country music artists, as you guys were saying, Tate Stevens, country music's newest phenomenon and newest famous face. Well, he was out here today, and a lot of people are so excited. The 40,000 fans that are leaving the game right now, they watched him perform the national anthem today. You'll remember the Rainbow Man turned instant celebrity when he won the sing-off show, The X Factor, that was so popular. And he says the national anthem really is so difficult to sing. So when he talked to me earlier today, he said there really was a reason why he was very nervous. What will you be thinking, Lee? I'm um, nothing, just, you know, don't suck. And, uh, you know, so. All right, well, Stevens. Stevens, who once was a city employee, is now living the life of a star, experiencing recognition and fame in his cowboy boots. And he remembers coming to the K when he was just a third grader with his friends and his little league baseball team, and then watching Bo Jackson crack a baseball right over his leg. And the country star who still lives there says he is a true Royals baseball fan. It's baseball fans, this is what, you know, you wait, you wait, you wait, you go through spring ball, you watch, you watch, and then, you know, today's the day. Today's the day you get to see the guys. Today's the day you get to smell the air and the hot dogs and the popcorn and the peanuts and stuff. And it's just this whole atmosphere that's so cool. He says he's living the American dream, which he really is. He plans to move to Nashville after his two teenagers who are attending high school get through school. By the way, the crowd went crazy after he performed the national anthem today. Everybody pretty excited out here, not only about Tate Stevens, but about today's win. By the way, Tate Stevens has a couple of performances here live in Kansas City later on in the month. At the K, Amy Holly, 41 Action News.